Hey everybody, hope you had a good Thanksgiving. I uh, want to make a quick video and sort of just walk you through what's expected this week and where we're going to go from here with the rest of the semester. We're almost almost there, it's almost over, so hang in there. Um, first off, with your uh, debates that happened for the previous week, the first policy constructives, they're really nice overall. Uh, everybody has feedback now that's posted where you get your grade, there's that audio feedback, so make sure that you listen to that if you haven't already. Um, but nothing really to speak of in terms of major issues. I think the only thing that I noticed that was fairly consistent was going into a little more detail on some things. Um, for example, if you were advocating for a policy change, which you should, you wanna make sure that you tell us how that might happen, what it might look like while it's happening. So just remember a little more of the how-to instead of just the big picture, which you did fine on. It's just getting a little more detailed so that we can really understand how you're going to do something. Having said that, realize also that I don't expect you to be a, you know, a policy guru and you know, know exactly that you need to invoke Article 3, Section 4 of whatever. You know, that, that's not it. But just be thorough so that people could actually understand what a change would look like as it happens. All right, so the other thing, nothing was due last week for Thanksgiving. Let's switch over and here. Um, this week, which is the week of the 30th, which is today when I'm recording this, your policy debate rebuttals are due. So what you wanna do there is reply, respond to the debate or the, the argument that your partner posted. And what you're going to find is that you had very similar arguments many times, most of the time. But that's where you're going to get a little nitpicky and you're going to find the details that you think make your argument better than the opponent's. And to do this, I mean, there's, there's a, uh, some information on it that we've already talked about. But you're, you're, just <clears throat> you're, you're reviewing the idea of why this needs to happen. You're reviewing your partner's argument. Here's what they said should happen. Here's how they said it should happen. My problems with that are, here are my problems with the what they just said. So instead, I like my plan better because, and then show us how your plan fixes their problems and makes your plan, therefore, a better plan. So that's, that's the idea that you're going for here. Then for next week and the final week, you're going to do it again, and I'll put out some different resolutions for those as we get closer to that time. But for now, that's, this is your focus for this week, the rebuttal to policy debate one. And you know, we've got this week, next week, and then exam week, which we have retrospective listed here, and that might turn into an extra credit assignment. So we'll see how that works out. But yeah, we've got three more things due, and then you're done. Some of you have three. Some of you have four. Uh, the fourth being a trip to the speech lab. Don't forget that for one of your prepared speeches, which all three of these coming up are, you need to go to the virtual speech lab and practice this speech. Now, you could go and work on the actual argument itself. You could work on the organization, the structure. You could work on delivery, whatever it is. But Make sure you go before you turn in whatever speech that you're working on. Um, so in the past, there's been some folks that have turned in, let's say this rebuttal speech that's due this week, and then they go to the lab on Friday after they turned it in on Thursday and they wanna practice it. That, that doesn't make any sense. And I know you probably wouldn't do that, but some people have done it, so I'm telling you. Um, if that's the case, go ahead and work on the next one. Start thinking about that. If there's nothing out there yet, you know, maybe you can, practice some debating skills in terms of thinking quickly and how to counter arguments, that sort of thing. All right, so this week, do those rebuttals. When it gets closer to Thursday, I'll have up new resolutions with new pairings, and we'll take it from there. So if you have questions, as always, let me know. Check your feedback. If you have questions on that, definitely let me know. Don't forget the speech lab. And hang in there. We've got about three weeks left, and you're going to make it just fine. So appreciate your hard work, and I will see you next time.